Hey, what's up, everybody? I wanted to come on here to give you guys a review and demonstration of the Instabrew Brew Go. This is a private label version of the Cauldron Fire, which is a vacuum insulated 16 ounce travel mug with a sip spout and a pouring spout with a pressure relief valve built in. So that way, if any pressure builds up, uh, it gets released safely. Uh, so as you can see, it's a pretty nice design. It's sort of matte black, uh, and it also comes with this battery pack here, which is pretty large in capacity. If you press the center button, it turns it on, and you can press it again, and it turns off. Out the back, you have two USB-A ports, which you can use for charging, and a DC in for charging it. This charges in about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. It's a pretty big battery pack. And then on the left side here, we also have a stand. You can plug this directly into DC power and just use the wall plug that they give you. So that is a DC in. So you just plug this in the back. So I'm just going to show you guys exactly how you use the cauldron. So if you want to use it with the battery, uh, you do need to make sure that you line up the two triangles. Just line those two up and then turn in opposite directions until it locks fully in place. So now all we have to do is just push the power button. So you'll see all of the lights turn on. Then there are two options that you can use for your temperature. You can either set it to a constant set point or you can set it to boil. So if you press the left button one time, it will set it to the most common SIP temperature, which is around 135 degrees Fahrenheit. If you would like to customize that a little bit more though, you can push and hold the left button. That'll start the light blinking on the left, and then you can press it one time to cycle between the different heating modes. So you can go between 104 degrees Fahrenheit on the low end and 170-ish on the top end. If you are satisfied with the temperature, then just press the right button and that will select that temperature and start to maintain temperature there. If you want to stop the temperature uh, at any point, you can just press any of the two buttons and it'll just shut everything down. Additionally, if you wanna go ahead and boil water, all you need to do is press the right button one time and that will start the boiling process. It'll show you lights lighting up as you get hotter and hotter until it gets to 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius, at which point it will completely turn off again. So before I get into showing you guys exactly how long it takes to boil water and what the process of making coffee with Instabrew's coffee cubes or tea with their tea cubes is like, I did want to talk very quickly about exactly what you can expect from this uh, in reality. So I think overall it's a nice product, but there is one major limiting feature to it, which is that the pour spout actually leaks. And this really I've found happens frequently if the temperature of the water that you have inside is right around room temperature. What I'm guessing this is down to is thermal expansion of the metal case. So it starts to pull up right around here. And that's a really big problem because if you're traveling with this and you have room temperature liquid in there, it could potentially get some of your stuff wet. You just have to be very careful. So that's something that I really don't like and it's something that I wish that they could actually get right with this. Um, what I think is that when the metal expands when you boil water, it creates a better seal, but when it returns to room temperature, that seal is loosened a bit. So when you go to pour it, it's not exactly perfect. I haven't had issues if I went to pour this directly after boiling water, so that's why I suggest that it's probably thermal expansion. It could be anything really, I just think it's a bit unfortunate that a product that's otherwise pretty good has such a fatal flaw. But with that being said, let's get straight into the demonstration and we'll wrap up. All right, so here we're just going to use the Instabrew French Vanilla Coffee Cubes. So they come in this nice long pack. All you need to do is just open it up and they have these little convenient pouches. So we'll just open this up, drop it in and start boiling. So as you can see here, when you press the boil button, it'll start by blinking the rightmost light since this is at room temperature water. And once it reaches the first temperature, the right side will turn solid. 
then the next light will become solid when it reaches that temperature all the way on up to the full 212 degrees Fahrenheit, at which point it'll turn off. I'm just speeding this up so that way it doesn't take so long, but it does take quite a long time in reality. It was about 40 minutes before everything was completely boiled. And so if you are in a rush, this is not your go-to, but it is a nice thing if you wanna just simply keep your beverage warm, uh, that's really good. If you do wanna boil it, like I said though, you will need a pretty substantial amount of time. So that's kind of unfortunate, but it's expected since this is just regular electric heating. That being said, though, I do have quite a few complaints about the Brugo itself, uh, mainly, like I said, the spilling thing. Um, I do think that the coffee is pretty good and the tea is also pretty good. Both are very nice quality, especially considering that they're cubes that you just drop into warm water, stir a little bit, and it's good to drink. So. If you guys were on the fence about if the coffee was good or if the tea was good, they are absolutely good, and I do recommend them. The Brugo, I think it's really only worth it if you are a person who loves hot beverages and you want to keep them warm throughout the day, and you don't plan on uh, using the pour nozzle to pour out room temperature or cold liquids since like i said it does tend to leak a little bit with cooler temperature liquid uh, warm temperature liquid it's no problem so that's sort of my review and thoughts of this product if you want to check it out i'll leave links down in the description but with that being said please drop a like uh, leave a comment down below and subscribe for more content and i will catch you guys in the next video